Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A big hello to all you new subscribers from Fret the Decorated One-Eyed Pissed Off Porch Weather Frog and myself. So this video here, we're going to get back on uh, whew, the little Suzuki four-stroke that has been terribly abused. We're going to get uh, some cleaning done, some washing done. Uh, we're going to take a look at those transom clamps on that 30 Johnson and see how soaking them in the 5050 ATF acetone mixture did for them. See if we can get them changed out. Might even try and give that little motor a run. Um, got some just washing and cleaning and things to get done. Uh, that cowling, or not the cowling, that, well we got to do that too. The lower cowling for the little Suzuki was full of oil and grease and yuck. And then we've got that center console. I want to get it finished up and uh, who knows else what we might take a ride out to the uh, boneyard scrap heap you never know what's going to come in here so i say let's get to it what do you think fred he says let's get to it okay i don't want to make a mess so i take my turkey baster And we shook some of that up so I can reuse it and get them off there without making a real big mess. And we get to this little puppy up. Take that little puppy out. And see, do we get some movement? Oh, are we in? Are we in? We are. The stand don't make it too easy. She goes. Whoa. Let's see about the other one. I got a little movement in that one. We we'll get it. We better get it. Like I said, this stand don't make it too easy. I have to put it on the ground. She's a wobbling. I got it on that stand. I'm gonna see if I can pipe wrench it. Pipe wrench that puppy. Kind of a sloppy pipe wrench, but there she goes. There she goes. Oh, she's squeaking. Hey. comes Mr. Salty. Oh, 
hopefully you can see she's turning right out of there. Tighten back up again, I'm gonna add a little more heat. As we get near those flattened threads. And they are all that nasty white stuff coming out of there. And then the cup goes on the back with a step down, shouldered, super thin, specially formulated by OMC 7 16 Nut and bolt, now to go in the back side. But I'm going to switch this over to my tank. I'll be back. Okay. We got some pretty transom clamps on there now. Now the guy didn't say much of nothing else in the note he sent in from the bush. He just said, 
basically put transom clamps, but I got to looking around. I got looking around. I saw boogers and ugly things in there. This is from the the foam on the engine bonnet. And there's a whole bunch. I mean, just it's everywhere. Think I'm kidding? Everywhere in there. All over. That carburetor has been sucking it in for a while. But, um, for giggles, let's see if it'll start. The throttle's all stiff. Got the choke out. Let's see what happens. Let me see. Where's that? Right there. That stop it from doing that, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Got a new cord on it. Well, she kind of wants to run. Look out. That needs soaking in my tank. Or surely. sucker.
Can you see all that dust up under here from this bonnet? See that? And that all, where do you think that goes? I'm surprised it, it runs as well as it does. So, but it's one of them, I'm not sure. The guy told me in his note to put transom clamps on it. Well, we did that. But I ain't sending this thing back out in the bush in that kind of shape. It's going to get cleaned. I'm going to soak that recoil starter in my tank right there overnight. Clean everything up. Lube everything up. I'm going to check that propeller too. Um, just to see if I can spin it at all. Um, to me it seems like it should have had a little more churn to it than that. I'm not sure, so I'll check that out. But, uh, hey, hey, we got new transom clamps. For sure. Okay, so we got a mystery motor going here. What is it? Now. Look at the fuel pump. I don't think that's original. Could be. Now I got the shifter handle kind of covered up there because that's too much of a giveaway. But look at the odd angle of the intake there. at that odd angle on that where the carburetor bolts and look at the coil on that it's a mystery motor what is it what is it there now you see has that lower unit been replaced no that is original that is the original lower unit. That's not off another outboard. It came from the factory that away. Yeah. Hang on, I'll get you to the other side. Okay. Here's the other side. Look at that weird looking little CDI unit there. It's a mystery motor. What is that? It's a mystery. Again, there's the lower. That's original from the factory, just like that. What is she? I have the hood for it, but I can't show you that because then there wouldn't be no mystery. Let it sit for a minute, then I'll scrub it into a slurry and rinse it off. And then I got the Suzuki plastic lower cowlings soaking in a little super clean with a uh, with a bit of uh, water in there, just covered them up, made it foamy. And now I'm going to take this little Filthy, abused, neglected, rejected. Little 15 out of there and get it on a stand and we're going to clean it up. Ain't no sense in that kind of thing. Suzuki, you didn't put no primer. The owner, good lord folks. How bad can you treat a poor little outboard?
two a day, I mean, that ain't worth, uh, the gas will cost you more than that. Oh, yeah. So, nowadays, yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Spray that with some kind of, uh... I sprayed it with that super clean right there. Oh, okay. That stuff works pretty good. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Dirty little motor, dirty, dirty, dirty. And we're gonna let that sit there. And while we do that, we'll get right down to some of this. We got these. I got them soaking in the soapy water. That's cold. Look at all that. Just dirty. Abuse. It's outboard abuse. Shape people let their stuff get in. Good. We get it all cleaned up. Plastic. Not fibroglassic. Ooh, that's cold, that's cold, that's cold. You think that ain't dirty? Look at my hands, just, just from handling it. Just from handling. Get all kind of dirty. That's all right. We get this all curdied up. And this ain't no hot water either. It's straight out the garden hose. It's cold. It's only like 41 degrees out here. And there's water colder than that. Even on the outside. Even on the outside. It's name that tune. I know I need a small vacation. But it don't look like rain. I know. I need a small vacation. But it don't look like rain. Name that doom.
look a little better or what? Uh, that's a little better. Get that gunk off of there. Make it pretty. It's pretty now. Oh, she, she looks a lot better. Now we can let that dry and get us a coat or two of uh, zinc chromate etching primer on there and then top coat it. It look pretty. Well, so we got parts soaking, parts all cleaned up. We got transom clamps done. We got a little more work to do on that Johnson. I'm at least going to clean the uh, cowling and the power head off. I'm going to pull the uh, recoil off of it, soak it in my tank, and get that where it'll uh, retract properly. Um, it's just salt, yuck, and yuck, and yuck um, from sitting. But uh, it does run pretty good, so um, we'll give that a once more quick look over as far as that propeller and stuff. I just want to check it out, make sure it's not slipping or anything. And uh, boy, what else we got going? But anyway, we've got mostly everything taken care of, and I'm not sure on what I'm going to start on next, but. Uh, I've got a pair of 30 Johnsons over there that one of my good customers needs and I definitely want to get those two squared away for him. And you say, what makes a good customer? What's the difference from this customer to that customer? Well, this particular customer not does he always not only does he always pick up his motors on time and pay, but he always brings me some seafood, normally crab. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you know I love me some crab and artichoke dip. You understand? And so this guy, he'll come pay his bill and all that, and he'll give me some some good seafood of some kind he always does so i want to take care of him and uh he's about next in line i do believe because this guy um he won't be needing this motor till the fall so i've got another guy wanting a 15 horse but i i think i'm going to take care of the two 30 Johnsons, and then uh, a little 15 horsepower that I need to convert over to a short shaft uh, for a fella. He wants to purchase it, and I have a good candidate for that. So I think I'll do the 230s, then I'll do the 15, convert it to a short shaft, and then I just had something come in today. I'll show you these. Brr, bu, bu. Boom, there they be. See that? I got twin, well, yeah, for the most part, twin Johnson 15s. The customer said that one of them isn't cooling and that the other one, he's not sure of what is wrong with it. If anything, he just wants it gone through. Um so that he can depend on it. So we got those two cuties right there we want to get to, and then we know what that is right beside it. It's the Nemesis Yamaha. But those are two nice little Johnnies there. And here are the twin 30s that I need to get to. Um, I know one of them has a bad kill switch, and so I got to get those two. So I think I'm going to do those two next. Then I'm going to go through that little 15 right there, Evan Rude, and turn it into a short shaft. Then we'll get to those two Johnson 15s. 
So, oh, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to at least show you a little more on the mystery motor. We got to show you some more on the mystery motor. So, we got a full plate here. You never know what else is going to pop in here. Today, tomorrow, you just never know. Who's going to back in and say, hey. Oh, and I got a couple more freebies I need to show you. So, and then we got a little generator. So we just got a whole ballpark full of stuff that we need to get to, and we will. And uh, been kind of cloudy, a little rainy the last couple of days, but we're still getting things done. <coughs> it's not that cold out, uh, probably about 43-ish. So this video is getting a little long, you understand? So as always, This is definitely one more hack from Kodiak, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.